Hey guys, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday for us, but Wednesday for you, which means it's officially July, which I cannot get over that July is already here. Like what? But anyways, we just got back a couple of days ago from our little mini weekend getaway. We were gone for about three and a half days. Was that four days? Four days-ish, we'll say. And I just came back really feeling refreshed and renewed and ready to start taking on like more things around the house again. I've kind of this past month just been in a funk where I haven't really wanted to start any new projects, wasn't really very motivated. And I think just leaving the house for those few days, like coming back here, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Like, that's just what I needed. It's what I needed. We just needed to get out of here for a few days. So I am back. Today we are going to be getting a grocery pickup order. We actually need to leave in about 15 minutes for that. So we'll head to Walmart, pick up my groceries. So I'll share a Walmart grocery order. Actually, I'm also going to be trying a new recipe today. So I will also be sharing that. It's a crock pot meal. And I need to actually get that going this morning which is why we're picking up the groceries because we have like no food in the house and then I'm also going to rearrange some furniture I want to move just a couple of pieces around which I will talk about in detail which is also kind of stemming some new projects that I want to take on they aren't big ones they're small ones but I have just been thinking about doing them and I feel like now's the time so anyways we're gonna do some groceries try a new recipe and also start rearranging some furniture and talking about some projects in today's video I literally just got the text that our grocery is ready for pickup so we're gonna head over there right now looks like we're the only ones here waiting for our groceries oh here he comes already awesome but it is a gross day outside. It is so muggy and cloudy. Andrew's excited about some new Play-Doh. We, we can put that in the Play-Doh box. Yes, we'll put it in the Play-Doh box. There you go. Yes, he's still in his jammies. <laughs> Isn't that what summer's all about? But it's really humid out there. I know, it's so humid. This should keep them a little bit busy while I pull out all the groceries and do a little haul for you. You all saw me last week clean out a refrigerator. It is basically bare now. Like we are out of milk, we're out of eggs, we are very low on cheese and like literally no produce. So got a lot of that stuff. So I better make it quick because it needs to get in the refrigerator. But anyways, I am trying two new recipes that I'll talk about when we get to those items. So we have pears, a big bag of pears. I have the green beans, I've never bought them in these containers. I actually don't buy a lot of green beans, but I wanna try these for the kids for like a quick grab and go lunch type thing. I don't know, I'm gonna try them. Bubble fruit, this is actually the second time we've bought this and they're very good. They remind me of like bubble tea, but they come in like these awesome like flavors peach strawberry lemonade sounds so good but the kids really like those so that was kind of a fun thing to add to my cart um, some basil I'm going to be trying I actually ordered fresh basil but they substituted this one it says it's lightly dried I don't know but I'm going to try making bruschetta this week and so I needed some basil for that just some more vanilla extract, a bag of apples, lots of bananas, some cereal bars. This brings me back to my childhood, and so I'm gonna try this. I, I don't know if the kids will like it, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I was like, I, I kinda want cocoa wheats this week. And then we love the maple and brown sugar instant oatmeal, so got more of that. Milk, I forgot to order a skim. I, I told myself I needed it, so I didn't get skim. So I'll probably have to pick that up on like a Target trip or something, but just two gallons of milk. Got some corn on the cob. I think we'll probably end up grilling that this week sometime. Mango spears, I've never ordered this before, but mango sounded so good. And the fact that it's already like prepared and ready to go, and it was not a bad price. I feel like this was $3, which I don't know, for produce to me does not seem that bad. So try that. Got some of these baby red potatoes. They, I think I'm gonna make a potato salad with that. Just some of these flat out, uh, Tortillas, I guess we call it, flatbread. There we go, flatbread. This was a substitution, I ordered shredded lettuce and they gave me this iceberg lettuce. Roma tomatoes for my bruschetta, I think there's eight of them there. 
same with this feta cheese yum a loaf of bread for the kids sandwiches some grapes animal crackers these are the ones that come in the little bags they're just like a quick and easy snack for the kids to grab blueberries raspberries celery carrots strawberries mandarin oranges i mean so much fruit so much fruit and like vegetables here some canned beans just good to have here for grilling season the kids absolutely love these z bars so i got another one of those those were like the first snack to go on our little trip last week it was kind of funny um graham crackers for like s'mores just some crackers to have a big box of applesauce pouches another box of gogurts this one was also a substitution it actually worked in my favor so i ordered like the smaller size but they ended up substituting this so i think i paid nine or ten dollars but i got the sixteen dollar stew meat so that's awesome i'm actually going to be putting this in the crock pot today with you um some caesar salads this was also a substitution i really only needed one bag but since i guess they ordered the family size of the other version they subbed these out so two of those i've never gotten the chopped one but i think it'll be really good bunch of eggs bomb pops these need to go in the freezer like now but yeah, the kids love those. Those are probably their favorite popsicle of choice. Uh, some whipped strawberry cream cheese. This, is, um, this was a substitution way back in the day and we love this kind now. It's um, kind of my go-to cream cheese for bagels. Some cheese, Parmesan cheese, cinnamon rolls for a fun, this is not, I was just cleaning my counter. <laughs> cinnamon rolls is just a fun breakfast and then I did get some chocolate donuts so we have a couple of sweet little breakfast items which will be fun this week and then I also got some lunchables for the kids just basically one for each kiddo for just a, a quick lunch one of these days and then a few non-food items I did get Bailey some more dog treats more sidewalk chalk boys I got more chalk I haven't showed Ethan yet Ethan look Rainbow chalk, look. I always get excited when I see it in stock. <gasps> look it. Should we do those today? I'm gonna do it on this day. Yeah. I'm gonna do it like We will. Well, first I have to put our groceries away and get you dressed, but then we can try it. And then also some Tide Pods, just like the original, as well as the Free and Gentle. I use these on the kids' clothes. This is our toothpaste that we use. I always get questions on my teeth. This is basically all I use, but the extra whitening is by far my favorite toothpaste ever from Crest. Just another eyebrow pencil, some flushable wipes, and another deodorant. The recipe I'm going to be trying is actually out of the original Magnolia Table Cookbook. I have not made a recipe out of here in a while, but I've been wanting to try it forever, but they haven't had the stew beef for like months. And so now that I finally have some, I'm going to be trying the Sunday supper beef tips. And what kind of appeals to me is there's very minimal ingredients and it basically just goes in the crock pot or slow cooker for eight hours. So, you know, it's not going to take a lot of work, which I think is perfect for a summer day. Okay, one slow cooker. Next, I'm going to add a packet of this onion soup mix as well as this cream of mushroom soup. Water. I'm adding some pepper onto the stew beef and then I'm just going to dump it all in to my crock pot. Now I just need to add my mushrooms. <laughs> Boom! Dinner is done! Well, not done, but prepared. We just ate lunch really quickly and dropped off Macy at gymnastics. We now need to actually bring Matt in to get measured for a tuck. So we have, I don't think I've talked about this, but we have a really exciting September coming up for our family, um, both sides. So 
first of all, my sister-in-law is getting married here in town and I think our whole family is actually in the bridal party, so that's going to be really fun. And then my sister is also expecting her first baby, so I'm also going to become an auntie, so I'm equally excited about that. So September is very exciting, but anyways, I can talk more about it in a different video, but we need to go get Madden measured. I think we've been putting it off for just so long, and I'm like, you know what? On our way home from bringing Macy today, let's just go in and get it done really quickly. It is the same day, but I did have to change my shirt. So after I did the grocery haul, I went outside with the kids for a while, and it is so hot, so hot. And it's not even the heat that's the worst, it's just how like humid it is. Like you can barely breathe, the air is just so thick. And so we were out there playing, I'm like, you know what, this is just not worth it. <laughs> so we came in, and I honestly don't know that we'll play outside much later today. It's just, it's almost unbearable. And we're supposed to have like a big, like strong thunderstorm band come through, of course, in the middle of the night when we're all sleeping. And then hopefully it'll like, you know, take away the humidity tomorrow. But anyways, that is why I'm wearing a different shirt. The food in the crock pot smells really good. I cannot remember <laughs> the last time I've cooked in my crock pot. Let me know, do you cook more in like the cooler months in your crock pot or the warmer months? I feel like we should almost do it more in the, the warmer months just because we're always like on the go. It would be really nice to just have food ready every night in there. And then it doesn't like totally heat up your house instead of using your oven, it works really well. So I don't know, I need some more, I think summer crock pot meals. But anyways, it smells so good. I plan to serve it over like rice. So I just need to make the rice when dinner is ready and probably a vegetable too. So long story short, <laughs> it smells really good. So we got Madden measured for his tux. He's gonna look so cute. She had him try on a little jacket and I cannot wait. So he's a ring bear, so are the twins. And so they aren't getting like a full tux. They're just going to get like bow ties with suspenders is what she was thinking. And so I still need to order those. And then Macy's a flower girl, but we already have her dress ordered. I'm a bridesmaid and then my husband is a groomsman. So we're gonna just have the full bridal suite going on. But anyways, it's nice to have that part done. So now the twins are napping. I am going to get around to moving some furniture around. I've really been kind of thinking about just how to make more um, use of some of the space that we have up here. And I've really been missing that sideboard that we brought down to the basement from our office. And so I want to bring that back upstairs and I kind of, I think I have an idea on where everything's going to go. It's going to involve moving my little Fiesta, or I guess it's big, my Fiesta sideboard into the laundry room. So I'm gonna show you that real quick and then we'll get started moving things. This area right here just does not bring me joy. It's just really too busy for my liking. And originally when we did the room, I just decided to leave this wire, like hanging sh rack, shelf, whatever you wanna call it in here. However, I wanna switch it out and I wanna do like a wood shelf. So the first thing that, well not today, but the first thing I want to do is rip this out and put in a nice, like with some black hardware and a nice rustic wood shelf there. And I feel like that'll dress up the space just by doing that. The other thing, I'll probably have to take this down, I'm thinking, but we'll see once I bring the sideboard in here, is I want to actually take this little island out and put this down in our storage room. And this will kind of become like a, I'm not sure yet what I want to do with it, like a craft station is my thinking around it, where we'll have like all of our crafting supplies down in our storage room and it'll just be a nice little area where we can store everything, even work if we wanted to. But it's just, it's too busy for me up here and I don't like it. Uh, now that we're potty trained, I don't need like my cloth diaper bin anymore. And so we have kind of this awkward space right here where I just feel like we're not using the room to its full potential. So the sideboard I measured from our kitchen actually fits perfectly right here and the color of the wood actually matches our bench really well. So I actually think it's going to look really nice here. So what I wanna do during nap time is I'm just gonna roll this out, it's on wheels, take this out and then bring my sideboard in here and just see how it all fits. 
and then we'll kind of start making some decisions on what else we want to do in here but that is my plan and if you remember like a month ago I had a sideboard in the playroom or office area that we just brought to the basement and when we were moving it to the basement I actually measured it and it was too big to fit in the laundry room so I was like okay let's just bring it downstairs well this one happens to fit perfectly and so this one I think is going to go into the laundry room and it'll have like just a bunch more storage and I feel like it's going to be just a little bit more functional for us in there and then the one that we brought to the basement will actually go out here and I kind of want to see how that looks it's a different color obviously than our table which I also have plans for but not anytime soon so yeah I just kind of want to start moving things and visualizing it <laughs> kind of a weird angle but it's like it fits perfectly into that spot almost like it was meant to be it is like the craziest thing ever and I feel like this gives us more storage I'm kind of liking it it's not as deep as the island was and so it almost feels bigger as well you just have more walking room in and out especially as a family of six when we're all trying to squeeze in here for shoes having that extra space definitely helps out okay somebody tell me I'm not crazy. Tell me you like it here. <laughs> I, I do really like it there. Um, yeah, I had been looking for like cabinets and different things to put in here. And I had this piece all along that fit perfectly. And I love it, I really do. Um, I just got done dusting out the bottom area right here. So it's like wide open, ready for storage. I still need to go through. I might actually leave the things in the drawers. Like I have like cards and like some of the kids art supplies. And then my husband has like his paperwork and stuff in there. I'll probably leave that, but I have the whole bottom area to store stuff now. And that's exciting. I was just storing junk in that island before. And then up here, I actually might take what's in these baskets and put them in here. I don't think the baskets will fit, but the stuff in there is just like hats and reusable bags that could easily fit in here and be no problem. And then that way, on my shelf, it's not just, you know, full of baskets. So we'll see. Um, I'll have to play around with it a little bit, but definitely the next thing to go will be this wire shelf and then I'll replace it with like a long wooden one that will go all the way to the cabinet and so we'll have like more shelf space and it'll just fill the wall better and it'll look all you know it'll look like it's meant to be there these days at home though you guys like literally I'm like trying to rethink everything like a million times and I drive my husband crazy with rearranging furniture and trying out new things but you know everything I feel like we've done so far has been really good like it just works out so much better and so he's being a trooper I text him like can we just please move that giant piece of furniture we moved to the basement back up here tonight and he's like yes so we'll do that when he gets home from work and see how that all looks but I don't know you guys I I kind of like that like it was it's the perfect fit there like like inches like maybe like a half an inch of space left so I feel like it works there really well and I always struggle to decorate that piece in the kitchen so I'm hoping maybe with this new piece that comes up it'll be just a little bit easier different color of wood we'll just have to see but yeah I'm driving my husband absolutely crazy I am officially obsessed, I think. It works out so well for storing like all the kids stuff for them to come in and grab. So I ended up putting beach towels, 
which they used to be up here in this cabinet and they could not reach. Like, I even have a hard time reaching it. And so they can just walk in themselves and grab a towel. I have like sunscreens, bug sprays, sunglasses are in there. Oh, it fits so well. And I have this whole bottom shelf here that I want to actually, I need to go shop my house for some baskets that will fit in there for like the baseball hats and like basically all their summer essentials will be right in this cabinet for them to come in and grab. So it works really well. I do love, so our garage door, our door from our garage into our house is right around the corner. So when guests walk in, they always come in that door. Like they very rarely use our front door, which I know is weird, but we always go through the garage. And they always walk in here to put down like their purse, their bags, or their jacket. And it just, it just never looked right in my opinion. And so I feel like this is just way better looking as well. And it'll look better once I get this wall done. Which leads me to my next topic. So next week I'll share in a video us doing the shelf. But I'm also debating on doing some shiplap, like from the cabinet down, do shiplap and kind of define the space a little bit more. It'll brighten it up, cover some holes, and then I think the wood shelf would just really pop. So I'm also thinking about that, but I'm just not quite sure yet. But for sure, a new shelf that will go all the way to the cabinet is definitely coming next week. Out here is another story though. So my island is empty. It just needs to be brought downstairs, but I need to go down there and make sure I have like room. I need to just shift some things around in our storage room. And then all my Fiesta is basically all over the table and the counters right now until we bring up the other sideboard. But yeah, I guess maybe I can use this for prepping today as dinner. Wait, I don't have to. It's in the crock pot. seen those faces I've heard all the lies but you ain't gazing on someone in denial cause you want dollar bills right now but you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy so let your guard I just moved all of my fiesta off the counter to make room for them to play. And then of course, what does he do? He decides, I think we'll play Play-Doh at the table. Our dinner is ready. That's what it looks like. I'm excited. It has been smelling so good today. I just finished cleaning up after dinner. It was pretty good. You know, I served it with brown rice. I think the recipe said to do saffron rice, which I don't know that we have that. Um, and I'm not a big fan of brown rice. So I think if I would have just done it with like either mashed potatoes or white rice, it would have been better, but it was really good. Like the meat itself was really good. It was tender and yeah. So I'll have that recipe down in the description box. If you are looking for just a quick and easy meal to toss in your crock pot, try that one. But we did also move up the sideboard up here into the kitchen and so I thought I would share that with you really quick. I think it looks good. You know, I, I think I'm just need to live with it for, you know, a little while just to make sure because it is a little bit different than what I'm used to. So here's what it looks like. It actually fills up this wall really well. It's a little bit longer, maybe even deeper too. I cannot, I'd have to do exact measurements to know for sure, but it actually fills up this wall really well. I'm so glad to have it back up here. I really missed having it. Um, I just, I don't know, there's something about it. I just love it. So that's what it looks like. Now it's obviously not a match to our table, which is the whole thing that's throwing me off right now. But the color of that actually matches the little seats on these chairs, so I do like that. Long-term goal might be 
uh, to switch the table out and move this table down to the basement as our game table. If you remember, we have kind of like a long, narrow area where I do want to put a game table. And I still have those metal farmhouse chairs from back, it's probably been, what, a year ago when I got this table that I would just put with them downstairs. So we'd have the bench and then those metal chairs. And then I could buy the matching, it's a round table though, that goes with the sideboard. Now a round table I feel like it would actually fit better. I just don't know if I like it. I don't know, I just cannot decide. So that's an option down the road, but for now we'll just kind of live with it like this. So anyways, on Friday I do have a video coming out. It is a decor haul. Finally, you all have been asking for more decor videos. So I have that coming where I'll share with you a bunch of things that I've picked up. And then with any luck, we will do some decorating in that video as well. So definitely subscribe and stick around if you are new here. But I'm going to let you go for the night. It's almost time to give the kids bath. And I'm probably going to fall asleep shortly after because I'm so tired. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Oh! <laughs> oh my god!